Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin, and in the last video, we went over how I like to make my programming page for my show files. Uh, in this video, we are going to go over how to save pages. That way, uh, you won't lose your work, but you have more room uh, to work with. Uh, so what we are going to do is we are going to go to our command overlay, and we are going to hit store, okay? And then we are just going to click on one of these um, view uh, pools right here. We'll click on the first one, okay? And we can name it, um, I don't know, main. And then from here, it's showing me that, hey, right now you're on screen two. Would you like to save that one? And um, yes, I would. But also, say you had like all your screens set up on something and um, you have a workflow that works for you uh, using multiple screens. Well, you can just go through here and you can select however many screens you want. And then whenever you click on that icon, it will take all of them to uh, whatever you have set up here. So we're just going to hit. Um, uh, so, we, yeah, we'll just select screen two and we named it main and we'll hit please. You see up here, there's a new view here. Well, now what we can do is uh, we can clear our screen here. Uh, if you have an actual like console in front of you, you can use what is known as the nipple button and you hold it down and there'll be a little thing that pops up down here. You can say um, clear screen or you can just do how I'm doing it by clicking on the little yellow ball and hitting delete window and all of them. And cool. Now we have a blank page here. So now what we can do is say like uh, I want a effects page. Well, I can go here. We'll go to pools. We'll say we'll put our groups here. And then uh, we'll go click on another tile, go to pools, and we'll say effects. Now we can start making effects, but hey, I want to store this as well because this is going to be useful for programming. Well, again, we're going to go store, and we're going to click on a view uh, icon, and we can say um, effects program, right? And then again, it's on screen too, so we'll save that, Hit please. And now what we can do is we can just jump between these two screens and all of our information stays there, which is awesome, right? And you can do this for how many views you want. And if you run out of views on the side here, you can always um, go to pools and then make a view pool. And you can see here's our views right there. Oh, and it's gone. <laughs> and um, just keep in mind that these views save exactly, you know, as you left them or not left them but like whenever whenever you save these views um uh, they are going to take basically a screenshot of what happens so you can you can go in and you can add stuff into these pools or whatnot but if i were to like i don't know delete this focus pool and then add a views pool here if i jump out of here and I go back to main that views pool is gone and has been replaced by this focus pool just how it was stored um if you make edits in here like say I want this all group to not be that and I want it to be macros. Uh, I would to make that save, I'd have to go to store and then click on the view that we are on. And then it's going to ask you this. We're going to keep it as main. And now this is macros. So if we go to the effects page, back to main, this is macros now. But I'm going to change this back to our all because that's useful. And again, we'll just go here, store, main, please, done. And yeah, there you go. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed. We'll see you on the next one.